Hello, hello, this is Sage the Intuitive, and I'm here to do a different type of reading today. So this is going to be a spirit baby reading. So these are going to be messages from your spirit babies. So um, whatever they want you to know, whatever they want you to work on, um, you can have children already, be looking to have more children, never had children, um, just just gravitate to this if this resonates for you. And let me know if you like this type of reading and I will um, do more of them. So don't forget to leave me a comment. Also, like, share, and subscribe. This is a new channel. It's still growing. And I greatly appreciate all the subscriptions and um, all the comments. I've been enjoying reading the comments on the other videos. So that's what I have enough of introductions let's get started so we're kind of going to start out with wanting to see what uh your spirit baby wants you to work on and know that this is a general reading so not every single message is going to resonate for you so take what resonates leave the rest if this resonates for you amazing if it does not that's fine too also, um, I will start to offer this reading as part of my services. So if you're ever wondering about, um, you want personalized messages, you can contact me separately. You can send me an email and we can do a spirit baby reading. So we are going to see what your spirit baby wants you to know. Some overall energy first before we move on and see what other messages we have. Only one more, please, sir. Good. Thank you. Okay. So we have Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. So your baby here is wanting you to focus on union. That's the immediate um, message that I receive um, from, from this is that they want you to fo focus on your union journey. And um, I'm also seeing that they want you to make some type of choice when it comes to this journey as well. Um, mm -hmm. With the, with the Seven of Cups here, wanting you to make some type of choice, um, even wanting you to envision what type of love or relationship that you want and then to work towards it. Of course, with this Four of Wands, that's our 11-11 card, but that's about stability as well. And that is that could even be about having a party, being more free and open. Um, in this picture, this child is kind of like outside picking grapes, just kind of being free. And um, I, yeah, I would say like practicing, like just being just like their freedom and being free. And then with the three of pentacles here, wanting you to work towards this. Um, they're wanting you to really figure out what it is you want and love so that you can get it. And that can be any kind of any, you know, from any aspect. So you take that how it resonates because everyone is at a different level when it comes to love and relationships. But your your babies here are really wanting you to make a choice when it comes to your love and relationships and really work hard towards whatever it is to build yourself up. So that is the initial message that I have and what the overall energy is that I have from them so let's get our card from here what does your baby want to tell you i just heard i'm i'm ready to come into this life so this is just telling me that they want you to make a decision and do what you need to do because they're ready and when i say they're ready i i, and I think about um like your little babies are basically in the, with their little backpacks on, 
just waiting for that day. So maybe that, you know, they're waiting for you to meet, you know, whoever is going to be, you know, the father, the mother, whatever, but they're just, they're ready to come forward. They're ready to be in this life with you. Um, that's what I'm feeling so heavily. Like my heart is so warm with that part of, of, of this wanting to just be with their parents at this time. So the card, the, the cards that I got, some flowers symbolize my bright future. So some of you could, um, really like sunflowers for some of you, that is your favorite flower. Some of you could have seen sunflowers recently and it just maybe struck a nerve with you. So let me know if that resonates for you. The other one is butterflies are my way of showing you that I'm there. So maybe you've seen a butterfly lately and, um, this is your way, this, this is your symbol from your, your, um, baby letting you know that they are there with you. Let's get one more. And the last one is your connection is divinely protected. So whoever is supposed to be your partner when it comes to bringing the spirit baby to, to, um, physical life, it is saying that, um, your connection is divinely protected. So if you're worrying about that, if that's something that, that is bothering you, this is your baby's reminding you to not worry because everything is covered. Under the bottom, it has daddy loves you. So maybe someone needs to see that message right now. So let's go on. Let's see what else the babies have to say. What other messages do you have to tell your parents? Because, you know, our spirit babies walk, um, you know, surround us and and make sure we'll say we're safe, just like um, our angels and our guides. We also have the spirit babies as well. So let's see what else we have. Wow, they're like flying out. And again, don't forget to tell me in the comments if you like this type of reading. Let's see if I can obtain a card that fell on the ground. Okay. So the first two that we have, it says, spirit babies can be a niece, nephew, grandchild, etc. And I am for sure any of those. And that's kind of like what I just said, that they are around us. So this could be um, maybe if you're outside of your conceiving um, time frame, if you're not ex not wanting any more kids right now, it could be um, a niece, nephew, a grandchild or, or some sort that is still around you, still giving you messages, still helping you with your soul's growth. So that's very interesting. And it's so funny that I just said that. And it says, uh, Mama and Papa, you are so much better together. Teamwork makes the dream work. We already talked about that. And see, this is what they're saying. They already had said that they want you to work on this connection and letting you know that this connection is divinely protected and they want you to continue to work on it. And it says, Mama, we love those flowers you fill up the house with. So here we go with flowers again. So someone who's watching this reading has some type of affinity for flowers. Maybe you like to go in a garden. Some some of you have some indoor flowers because they're saying that we love the flowers that you fill, fill the house up with. Um, it says, Mama and Papa, you are closing out some tough cycles and quickly ascending. So your babies are letting you know, like, uh, maybe that's why I needed to, you needed to see that your protection, your um, your connection is divinely protected. And um, at the bottom of the first deck, see, um, seeing that it says daddy loves you. Maybe you're going through a tough cycle when it comes to your relationship right now. And um, this is telling you that you and your person or you or your person doesn't, you know, either one, both of you, whatever, you are trying to close out tough cycles and trying to move forward in your ascension process. Under the bottom of the deck here, we have 
sassy and fiery like mama. So maybe some of you guys are fire signs um, and your spirit baby is letting you know that they are sassy and fiery just like whoever the mama is in that relationship in this situation. So let's see what other messages your spirit babies have for you. What other messages do you have? Don't forget to click that like button if you like this reading. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want me to do more um, like this. Okay, let's see. It says, Mama, Daddy, the answer is no. So something you are wondering about, they're saying that the answer is no. So what, take that as it resonates. Whatever it is that's on your mind that you've been like really like, oh my God, I don't know what this is. Um, the answer is no. The other card that came out was Mama, Daddy. Nothing is impossible. You can do whatever you set your mind to. I believe in you. So some of you are maybe having a tough time. I still think that this has to do within your connection. And that's why they're saying they want you to make some choices regarding your connection, around your connection, about your stability and work towards it. Um, some of you may think that your connection is impossible at this time. And your babies are like reminding you that anything is possible. Uh, whatever you set your mind to, you have to believe that. Um, under the bottom, it says, Mama, Daddy, guess what? I learned how to make the lights flicker. It was me. So maybe some of you have been seeing some things that you consider to be odd. And say, for instance, that thing could be um, that the lights are flickering randomly um, or something like that. And they're telling you that that's them um, doing that. So whoever this spirit baby is, is... Um, has has you know a little sense of humor they are you know trying to learn new things they're they're wanting to to come in and learn um new things so let's get some more messages more messages from your spirit baby let's get a couple of these since this is a collective reading we'll get a couple and see and take what only take what resonates for your situation all right let's go with those and let's see what we come up with so you have the ox it says it's time to reconnect to your inner sacred masculine energy so some of you need are needing to balance out your masculine energy and um, maybe you're a little bit too much in your feminine side and you need to balance out the masculine side of of your energy so it's saying it's time to reconnect with the ox um card here let's see and then we have the turtle it says, you chose this path before incarnating on earth. Walk it confidently and at your own pace. All is as it should be. So if things aren't seeming to go the way that you're expecting them to go, things are going a bit slow, especially with this turtle energy. Things could be going a bit slow. Or you're like, why is this happening? They're reminding you that you chose this path before you were even born. And so it's saying just take everything in stride and walk confidently through your day to day um, and that things are where they are supposed to be at this time. So not to worry. And then we have the tiger. So it says you are able to deal with life more spontaneously. Your intuition will always act fast and guide you. So some of you are being asked to be a little bit more spontaneous in life and um just to follow you know yes follow your intuition but also be ready to have fun and know that you're not going to be in a situation that you are not protected so they want you to have a little bit more fun and um and spontaneous we have the monkey card make some time to connect with your inner child's joy and innocence 
playtime does your soul a world of good so some of you again is asking you and it's funny that they came out together because this card the tiger is about being spontaneous this monkey is saying that you need to have fun in your life and i don't know if you remember but at the beginning of the reading i was saying that four wands card and i was saying yeah it, that could be a party as well um, because it shows the baby kind of like reaching for the grapes and everything that could also be a party um, this is saying that you need to connect with your inner child's joy and innocence. So you need to, need to be a little bit more playful when it comes to, uh, your, your life. And then we have the otter. It says your soul partner is missing you and wishing to reunite. Wow. Because we've been kind of talking about that where, um, and maybe some of you are feeling like things are impossible, like this this situation can't happen because things are just not working as you think or thought they should be going. And if you are missing this person, they are missing you too. We already saw daddy loves you. So if you are um, you know, in a masculine energy, you can't flip that. So don't, you know, don't worry about that. Um, just know that your partner loves you. This is a um, is a um, protected uh, protected connection, and it's telling you that like if you're missing someone, they are missing you too. So it is not one sided. Under the bottom, we had the sea turtle. In order to tell your own story, you have to let go of the stories which are not your own. This is about your growth, your soul's growth. So it's saying you need to release the things that are not um, that are not good for you. And um, this is, again, all about your soul's growth uh, and releasing old thoughts going through this transformation. Let's see, what is else? Okay, the next card under was Butterfly. Release all expectations and allow the changes in your environment and emotional body to happen. Allow it to flow through and around you. This is transformation. Oh my God, that's exactly what we we're just saying. You're working on your soul's growth. And we saw a butterfly card in here as well. And so you got butterfly twice, which is letting me know that um, you, you and your person are going through some type of... Um, growth and expansion when it comes to to um expanding your soul it, com it comes to clearing out karma and ascending to the next level so your spirit babies are here for you they're here with you in this situation so this, this these last um this last deck here you take what resonates these are cards basically to give some maybe some personality things they could um give you some traits on uh, about your your um spirit baby um so just take what resonates it's a big deck so i am going to be uh shuffling um two different i split the decks kind of in half because it is so huge um and I'll give you a couple messages and you just take, you know, what resonates for your situation. If you feel like that trait um, identifies who your, your child would be, your spirit baby will be great. So let's look at some of these. Let's see. So here's some, just, let's see, traits and, and things about your spirit baby persuasive so some of you will have a child that is very persuasive loving so that personality will be loving fierce we saw fierce come out earlier um in one of the decks so fierce reliable so someone's personality will be very reliable some will be sensitive brown hair so some of your babies will have brown hair it's twins. Oh my gosh. Some of you are going to be expecting twins potentially in November with no with a November baby. So some some of you will be expecting twins um in a month of November, around November, or you could be um it says November baby, but you could be conceiving around that time as well. Your um some of your your babies will be charming. Some of them will have mommy's toes. Some of you will have a July baby or conceive in July. They will potentially have black hair. 
Some of them will be a little bit clumsy. Others will be sassy, which is funny because we saw sassy already. And then some may be strong-willed and eager. And you'll have a couple that will be, like, very complex. Um, some of them will have their daddy's lips, if you will. Some August babies trying to come out or conceive, being conceived. Some of them will love technology. Others will be independent sympathetic stubborn and intuitive so that is what i have um for you all don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave me a comment let me know if this was helpful these messages from the spirit babies were helpful um if you want me to do more of these let me know as well and that is what i have for you you all take care and be safe and i will see you soon